Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Robert Carter. I am the District Technology Coach, and I am here with screencast o -Matic. So with this video, I want to go over the basic functions of this screencasting um, tool. Uh, this is what you'll see after you sign in and establishing your free account, and you can hit download install. Now, as you can see, it's going to pop right down here in the bottom. So install screencast. You'll install that. and I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Now, there's a lot of different features in here, and I'm going to only focus on the basic ones, and that just falls into the record function. Now, you're going to see a, a box that pops up on the outside that basically means that's where your recording is going to center on. You could make it smaller if you choose by shrinking this guy down. And down here at the bottom, you can record for your video, whether you want just the screen, just a webcam, maybe you just want to talk, or you want to run both. Okay. Um, max time is for the free version is 15 minutes. The size is only speaking to this box. You can see my narration. My mic is picking up just fine. And computer audio basically means if you click on something that would make noise, the video is going to record that as well. Let's leave all that, and we're going to get about, let's say, five seconds worth of video. You can see the timer's going up, and we're going to stop it at five seconds. Now here, I can hit the trash can and delete everything and restart, or I can just hit done. And I'm going to save and upload. Now, you can upload to a few different places, and you get more options by clicking on these lines here in the corner. But what I want you, to, what I really want to focus on right now, is simply YouTube. YouTube's an easy way to um, upload and share documents, or excuse me, videos, and go call it testing one two one two three. We're going to leave it as cat privacy unlisted. You can make it public if you choose to. Category education and leave everything else the same. Now, when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. Now, you can't publish to YouTube unless you've already created a YouTube channel. So please make sure that you have already gotten online and created a channel. There's a video in our tech resources website that will support you in that endeavor. You can also upload to Screencast-O-Matic as well. Now, there are going to be some of the similar rules. You could put a password on it. Um, I'm going to publish right to there for the sake of this video. And you can see that it's publishing right away. I'm going to copy the link for the video. Now, why is that important? So let's go to Classwork. This is um, a Google Classroom right now. Just so let me back out so you can see what I see. And Assignment. And let's just say the video that I recorded is for instruction. I can add link, and then the video is in here, ready to go. Now, with any other features, like obviously maybe this would say math lesson, be something specific to it, make sure that you give them multiple pieces of directions. I would definitely still suggest that we have a Google Doc in here with written directions. Now, when we are done, we simply hit OK. And you can still access that video later. This will continue to populate and build your library of videos, and you can share them out later. So that's what's really nice about this product, is if you build it once, you're going to have it every time. Okay? Um, this has been a quick intro. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.